Okay, time for a bit of impromptu dead cells. Why not, eh? Why not? Sunday night, half an hour, 40 minutes to kill. So probably in... Let's, see, let's have a look at our stats from the chat and figure out how long we've actually been playing this for. So... 22 games played. Actually feels like I've done more than that, really, but uh, there you go. For some reason I can't find my live video. Let's just do that again. Sorry if you are in chat, I'm just trying to uh, figure out why this is playing up. It shouldn't be playing up. There we go. So I'm trying to get into the actual live broadcast, but there we go. So this is a user error, let's call it. <coughs> okay, so 22 games played. Uh, cursed chest. I haven't managed to get through a cursed chest yet. A cursed, cursed chest yet. Progress through the games. You can see the various levels and things. I really can't see this. Sorry guys, I can't see chat comments, so just bear with me if I feed through. Um, so I've done a few runs through. Loving the game. It's absolutely awesome. Lots of uh, memories of lots of uh, Dark Souls and um, Rogue Legacy. Loving the game. Evening, Antonio. Um, let me know, Antonio, if this is too loud in terms of game sounds over the microphone and stuff. Just give me a show, mate. So, up here you can see all the goodies I've unlocked so far. And as you can see, there's an awful lot of them. Let's see if we can do this as quick as we can. Say, turn the game down a tad to a bit clearer. Yep, no worries, mate. You never know with these. That should be a little bit better. Um, how you doing, anyway, Antonio? You good, buddy? Naruto Boruto soon? I did talk about this in the episode I missed. Um, <coughs> yes, we do indeed. The last, well, we talked about it on The Last Entertainers a little bit. Um, and I talked about it fairly in depth on The Last Abandoned Gamers as well. 173, I think it was. Um, so yeah, a little bit of chat about it. But uh, I'll be reviewing it on the next episode, mate. And I'm sure we'll talk a lot more about it. 
uh, on the next time we have a little entertainers catch up as well, mate. So, evening, lad. How you doing, buddy? Um, no, it's no, it's a Bruta looks hell of a fine. Ah, good. Yeah, I played the first beta, mate. I haven't visited it since then. Um, sinew. Now, the build that I'm going to run with on here is probably just my... It's my preference. I love the Sinew Slicer. It's uh, it's pretty brutal. It does all the hard work for you. Oops. I'll say that as he gets me. Stab him in the back. There we go. <laughs> Past the 14th month subdued. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's weird to think that I've been streaming that long, even though I'm only very, very, very part-time. Mm, nice little ice grenade. And this is quite a nice combo early on. Ice grenade and the slicer. Just to ramp up that damage. Um, and obviously I've put a few hours into this now, so I'm, I'm fairly competent. <laughs> I will say competent. Um... The upgrade tree is pretty pretty cool. Um, it's not the best idea to kind of put points in everything and have them even, although it's tempting to get these nice big hit point boosts and stuff. Um, the uh, the weapons I mainly go for are range weapons and stuff, and they tend to be on the tactics tree, so it's best to kind of just whack your points into tactics and and crack on that way. But definitely take advantage of those nice big health boosts when you can. Uh, pretty the Twitch interactivity isn't part of the PS4 version. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame that is, mate, but it's the price we pay. Nah, hey, I can't get him through there. Probably making this look a little bit easier than it actually is. The first time you first few times you play it, it's an abs absolute mare. And it is pretty hard, man. Luke's been playing it for the first couple of times this weekend. But it's like anything, you get used to the um the move sets of the baddies and you know where they where, what they do where. Um But it's smooth as hell man, I do absolutely love this game. And it's it's got that one more play feel to it constantly. Um as you go through the levels, you've got different teleporters you can zoom through uh, and travel about nice and quick. Uh, so it never, feel, really, never really feels monotonous. Um, and over here, you can see there's just out of view on that little clouded bit, there's an, another scroll there for me to power up. So I'll jump across there and grab that in a minute. Boom, in the back of the head. So how you doing, Will? Are you good, mate? Counting down the days to MGC, uh, MGC, EGX even. Antonio here, heavy, uh, yet another podcast in the chat. He's, uh, he'll also be there at uh, EGX, one of the entertain nerds. Do you know what? To make the run a bit quicker, we'll go with a powerful grenade. Uh, no, actually, it won't. I'll keep the, I'll keep the purple skill tree. Let's do that. Makes more sense. Good. Thanks. Looking forward to EGX. Uh, so many people I know go. Yeah, this year seems a real bigger, mate. So there's uh, tons of people making their way down, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, also, some people that weren't expecting to go there going. So it's great that they're all going to be there, man. It's going to be good times. The first thing I'll do, mate, on the Thursday is find you and we'll hang out on that day. And well, it's all new and fresh, mate. We'll, uh, we'll play some stuff. Uh, right, I'm going to continue just levelling up purple. So I'll do loads more damage. It just makes it nice and easy. And on this level, you know, the first couple of levels, the baddies don't do too much damage to you, know. It's fairly straightforward. Oh, goodies, goodies. Let's see what I get. Um, infantry bow, no, I could go double bow. Um, 
think I might go with that because that is just going to give me a bit of burn damage as well, which is pretty cool. Um, Metro's one I'm after trying. Yeah, Metro. Yeah, Metro's confirmed as being there, mate. I went to Insomnia on Sunday with the dude, and um, they had Spider-Man, Division Two, Assassin's Creed, uh, Tomb Raider, um, and a couple of others there as well. So. Although they may well be out, I think that they'll have those there as well. It looked pretty, pretty straightforward. Evening, how you doing, Peter? Long time no chat, and this is my fault for not streaming. But uh, but I hope you're doing well, mate. And Tim, how you? good evening, mate. How are you, pal? So this is Dead Cells, everybody. Rogue Life, Metroidvania, whatever you want to call it. I call it one of the best games of the year because it's quite simply a ton of fun. And you can make it as difficult or as easy as you want to make it, in all fairness. You don't need to be uh, going crazy on it. Uh, oiled sword. No. I'm going to go no. Yeah, I'm doing really well, Peter. I am uh, not too bad at all. Apart from having to go to work tomorrow, you know. Sadly, the bank holiday doesn't, isn't going to last for, you know, three or four days. Ah, heading to work, dude. How many miles are you going to do tonight, Tim? Ah, Sweden Rock. Oh, who did you see, Peter? Ooh, that didn't go very well for him, did it? Definitely rolling is your friend in this game. That's all you need to do. Roll, roll, roll. Get out of the way of bad guys. Shoot them from behind. It's best to, best to stab them in the back, I find, anyway. <coughs> um, <laughs> with the countdown, it's 24, 23, and 17. <laughs> okay, so... Toxic sewers is there. Uh, anywhere that I haven't been? No. Looks like I've been everywhere. Okay, now I get to decide which route I want to take. There's two routes outside of, of this area. Um, although there is a grenade that might come in useful there. Oh, Judas Priest, Maiden, Aussie, and Halloween. Halloween, man. That's been a long time. I hear Maiden have been really, really good on this tour. Um, Bruce Dickinson had his 60th birthday here in Birmingham last week, I think, was it the week before last? Um, and absolutely smashed the, uh, the NEC. He's brilliant. Uh, let's go there. <coughs> 24 days to EGX, 23 until Gina arrives at EGX, and 17 for you getting older. Uh -huh. uh, now, there's a nice little power-up I've unlocked in there, which I really want, but I can't afford. Um, that helps you find blueprints in the game for more weapons and unlocks and stuff, but Unfortunately, I can he afford it. Um, so let's go to the next level. And like I said, I am probably making this a little, a little bit more quicker and easier than it is. It, it is a tough game to get into. You do start off quite squishy, um, but the more you play, the more you unlock, and the easier it gets to, uh, you know, get good quicker is the best way, I suppose. Um, I think I've got enough to unlock. Uh, oh, the ice crossbow. Let's unlock that. Now, you don't want to unlock too many of these either, like the weapons and the items. The you want to focus on the ones that you want to actually use in the game because the more you unlock, the more chip, the more you've got added to your pool of weapons to randomly be selected. So the way this works is kind of there's a permadeath to it. When you do die, you start from the beginning, but anything you've unlocked has a chance of appearing in your game so you, you want to be a little bit selective uh, for what you're doing on this but 
I like it, there's a lot of fun. Um, I'll just use any weapons that it pops up, really. So, ice crossbow, let's have a look. Um, slow down after Thor Switch. There it is. I haven't tried this yet, so do you know what? Let's try it for this run. Let's have a look, see what it does. So, woohoo! So, press triangle, hold down triangle for a bigger spread. That's it. Is it going to be better than the infantry bow? We'll see. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a run. Um, you don't. In terms of keeping the unlocks, will you don't lock? Well, you keep the the blueprints you've unlocked. Basically, the blueprints for all these weapons are hidden throughout the levels. You collect them as you go through the levels, and then you hand them in to this chapper here at the end of each level. So, you speak to the collector, hand them in, and then you have to spend your cells to unlock those weapons. And that then gives you the chance of having that weapon spawn in your game. Um, starts off as a low chance, gets bigger and bigger the more you play through the game. So it's kind of a, you know, it gives you that bug to have one more game, one more game. Um, this little chapter gives you mutations which you can choose, so um, you can only have three active at any one time. Um, it's a good idea to go for dead inside, gives you a nice hit point boost. Necromancy is like a, a leech for hit points with everyone you kill. Um, or Yigdal Oros Leox, uh, which will save you if you die. It brings you back if, like, if you get hit and you're going to die. I do find that quite useful just because boss fights and stuff, you can t it can get out to the wire. Um, so let's fill my health flask. And it's kind of like the Souls game where you've got uh, you've got your flask and you can use it once at first when you unlock it. Uh, I can use mine three times now as I've put the, spent the cells on it to upgrade it, just like you'd use an Esther Shard. Um, and uh, you know, improve your flask that way in Souls. For you know, it's a lot to it really in terms of the uh, the mechanics, but oh, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Uh, actually, I don't need to do that. I can just run up the walls. <laughs> I always forget. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, I'm probably not taking as much Duke and attention as I should do, but um, you know, it's a stream. It's fun. Uh, these time gates. One of the one of the things about the game is that the quicker you get through the level, there's a chance of getting onto this bonus area. Get to the next level quick enough, you open this gate, and you can collect a ton more dead, ton, ton more cells to spend and power ups and stuff. Um, it's kind of one of those things that at first you start cautiously going through the levels then you start just blasting through and the, it gives you incentive to do both you know if you, t if you take your time and go through the level as intended then you'll unlock a lot of stuff naturally but if you want to run through just make it a bit quicker then you can get through there and uh, get the same kind of level of goodies oh, I don't think so I don't think so I quite like that freezy crossbow. Oh, yeah, I do think I'm doing less damage with this build than uh, what I've just had, but that's okay. Evening, Michael. Hope you're doing well, pal. Yeah, it's a bit of an impromptu stream for me, but, um, you know, why not? <laughs> literally speed him in his bum. <laughs> yeah, this game is a ton of fun, man. It's great. It is hard. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But um, it's a lot of fun. When you start getting your power-ups and you start moving through the levels quicker, it... Oh, oh shit, he says as he dies on there. Um, you'll notice that if you if you do watch the little bit more of the stream or if you come back and watch it later, the levels are all randomly generated. So, you know, the next time you play through, it'll be slightly different, slightly different again and again. Um, and that's one of those things that kind of just keeps you, again, just a little bit involved, a little bit more interested each time. So you go back to it and it's like, oh, it's a little bit different. And you've got it, you know, you, you can't just get used to it and speed through. Um, and I hope you're well, Mike. Um, I won't mention the Man United game, which I did just watch. Um, before streaming, and I thought... I really didn't expect. Oh no! There we go. There's a. We want to get rid of him, sharpish. Okay. I wasn't expecting to see him there. Um, in fact, I don't think there's anything in here for us. 
literally nothing at all apart from that slicer. Um, you know, I'm going to go double slicer. It's a bit dirty, um, but it does just so much uh, more damage. Oh, Peter! I did watch the Cyberpunk gameplay from early on. That looks incredible. I'm so glad it's a first-person game as well. Looks gorgeous. There we go. Boost our survival up. There's no. Op there's sometimes the the scrolls are set to like you know red and green or purple and green, so they don't give you the option. Um, to level up the tree in the colour that you'd like to do it, so if in doubt, go for the biggest health pool. And you see this little squiggly mark in the wall? These hide hidden gems or sometimes health boosts. Um, imperative if you're, if you're low on health and you've used all your potions. You can sometimes get a little bit of a health boost, but uh, yeah, gems are fine, that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll definitely watch it, mate. It's a good, uh, it's a good 40 minutes or something, it was a ton of gameplay. Um, but yeah, it, it, it looks so lush, it, it really does look nice, um, cannot wait to get my mitts on it. But yeah, you know, you're right Pete, it does make sense because it, it is super fast paced and uh, being a, uh, a third person game you would have struggled, I think, to, to play it that way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I don't know if I saw it coming Mike, I thought there'd be goals, so I did have a bet on the, you know both teams to score etc. But um, yeah, he, do, he does seem miserable, he seems really disjointed and I don't know just not bothered. Although I thought the same with Pogba tonight, I thought Pogba looked really, really slow, like ponderous. Um, and that's not good. Um, let's see if we've got a... I don't really want to buy this if it's not that much of an upgrade, but I think we've only got Sinew Slicer 2s. So do you know what, let's um, have a look. Yeah, okay, so it's a bit of a DPS increase. Um, now we haven't got anything to free... Oh, we have got something to freeze the target, I suppose, the crossbow. Um, but I do like shots piercing a target, so you know, we'll replace the fire and do that. And then quickly nip to the teleport, boom, 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 let's go back up here. Uh, I do love the teleport mechanic, it's great to just zip, nip around the map and get back to where you were before. I can completely understand how people can finish this game in an hour uh, when they've got all their unlocks and you know they're, they're familiar with where they need to go. Um, I'd love to be able to get to that point because it would be a great game to stream, you know, see so like hit, you know, get a speed run down or you know, just try and finish it in one go. Um, firebrands. Mm. Firebrands are good for rain, so let's just grab those. And again, all of all of my tree is in tactics, which is the purple uh, purple tree. Firebrands are cool because you can literally just drop them down, um, and they'll set fire to the ground beneath you and set fire to the uh, the evil peeps. Hang on, let's just take this dude out. So, damage over time on the fire. And then we drop double sinew shredders, and they'll just rip people to, to pieces, man. They're great. Um, let's put some more in. There we go. So, this little dude, this little dummy that's here. He's basically putting a shield on all these guys. And you want to take him out as soon as you can because otherwise it just takes so long to actually take these guys out. The other thing to note actually is just touching the enemies, like running over them, doesn't actually hurt you. It's it's, it's only the attacks that actually do. So you can roll through here and there. And, you know, rolling is your friend. So what's everyone been up to? What's everyone been playing? Apart from drooling over the cyberpunk. Uh... Ooh. Coming for me. Oh no, too many. Oh, this is where it gets a bit money. Aha, all the goodies. There we go. There we go. Now, 
Nah, Yakuza Zero, mate, in the off stream. Oh, Will. Are you, uh, how far are you in the Yakuza Zero, mate? I still need to go back and finish that game. Um, Destiny and World of Warcraft. Peter, how are you enjoying the new expansion on Warcraft? It looks great. I, I must admit, I, I, the tears were in my eyes when uh, Sylvanas set fire to the uh, to one of the world trees. I was like, "Holy shit! They've <laughs> they've gone full on Horde versus Alliance here, and you know, pulled it all out." Ooh, Mike, you're playing Yakuza Zero as well. Oh, chapter ten, okay. Um, yeah, I won't ask you to elaborate on that, but I think yeah. Uh, I've got an E Penis Platinum today on Super Destiny DX. Aside from it being an easy plat, I found it a good game. To himself trying to beat my high scores. Yeah, do you know what, Michael? It is a good game. I was quite chuffed with that one because four quid and you get it on the Vita and the PS4. It is an easy plat, but it's an it's it's a it's a good little game as well. It's quite a ni nice to actually play one that isn't you know dog shit basically. <laughs> oh, fire and ice. There we go. Right, I think we've done all these dudes now. Chapter 16. Um, how, how, I can't remember how far I got in Yakuza. I got fairly close, fairly close to. There's a point where you go to another area fairly late on, which at which where I am. Um, but I, it still only feels like it's halfway, you know. Um, other than Dead Cells, I've pretty much been playing um, for for the E Penis section of the show. The, the Back the twin robot game, so I've been after some of those cheesy cheesy plats on there again. Um, and I did, I installed Warcraft as well, <laughs> I installed World of Warcraft and had a little play around with that um, just to see um, see if I could get back into it or see if I could resist the urge to read to buy the expansion and stuff. And I have so far. Um, I like have a little play and I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'm okay, I, the addiction isn't real. So, uh, Dirt Rally, yes, Tim. You need to upload uh, more Dirt Rally to YouTube, Tim, because I, I do like just having a little look at your commentary when you're riding, riding around, mate, so get, get on that. Where's boring if you play alone? Yeah, it is a little bit, and I think that's what did it for me, Peter. To be fair, like I had a great guild going, and then people leave the game for one reason or another, and um, and you know, there's only there's there's so many daily quests and stuff, and the grind of them. And I did find myself sort of like just loop falling out of love with it a little bit, um, and that was in Mr. Pandaria, so I don't think I really played a ton after that point. Well, no, I tell a lie. I did dabble with warlords a little bit, um, but not too, not too much. <laughs> yeah, James's addiction has come back to wear. Well, if it gets him off Champ Manager and he's uh, five million seasons of that. <laughs> As much as I'm liking this freezy crossbow, I think I might have to switch it up for something else. It's good to try the weapons out, I suppose, as you buy them. Um, yeah, it, feel, it, it feels like, I think, the way that they're going with the whole Horde Alliance thing now, and they're, they're kind of bringing it back to... Ooh! Oh no, I can't get nowhere near enough cells for that, damn it. Um, and they're bringing it back to that way where it's like it's putting the focus back on the two uh, the two sides of the uh, the coin really. But not we're not playing seriously now. Just five guys that might do just five man raids. Prison depths. Let's have a look. See what else have we got? Oh, is that a necklace there? How did I miss that? Ah, okay. Yeah, I probably should have picked that up. Uh, oh, that's good. The downward smash I've been doing, where you double jump and you hit down an X. It's, it should set fire to the ground there for me, there we go. So that'll do some damage to the bad guys, that's great. Um, yeah, raiding was part of the fun, man. I used to love, you know, the setting up of it and you know, getting everything ready and 
I didn't like it in vanilla where you like you literally had to farm for materials and shit and do all that without you know, before there was a raid before the raid effectively like you know <laughs> yeah I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna go and farm for materials for two hours before the raid starts you know, and then I'll be back I wasn't too much of a fan of that. Many. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, yeah, I don't like him because he can fire through walls at me. Um, Tim is going to start Yakuza 0, no hopes of finishing it. Uh, mate, that's, that's the best way to approach games. If you finish it, it's a bonus. But if you can experience a good few hours of it and enjoy it, then, you know, that, that's, that's good enough, mate. That's good enough. Um, oh, the follower quest in Legion. <laughs> Michael, what knowledge of WoW is solely based on the episode of South Park where they get addicted to playing it, which is one of the greatest episodes of South Park known to man. <laughs> oh, hang on. Is that health or is it? It's a pebble. It's a shiny pebble. Oh well, it'll do. It's not a food, but uh... oh no 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 no! Did not see the spikies. Now what we don't want to find is an elite, but that's okay. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, kind of shifted into playing Destiny 2 for more seriously. Yeah, I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed Destiny 2. Played the story. Um, had a look at the first raid, but then didn't play it. And um, I am tempted by the you know the, the new version of it with all the expansions in there for 40 quid. I did look at that. I was like, you know, I could get back into Destiny. Uh, electric whip. Uh, cool whip. Uh, not cracker. No, not a fan of the big hammer. Where are we then? So we can't get down there. That's the exit to the prison depths. Um, mm -mm -mm. So back up top. Have they uh, announced anything else about the vanilla wave coming back? Um, the old, what was it? I suppose it'd be molten core, wouldn't it? I guess. Um, um, yeah, the last raid I did was probably Wrath of the Leech King when they brought Naxxramas back, and that was freaking ace, man. I loved that. Nax was cool, but you did need like a day just to get to all the wings. God damn it. It's actually pretty powerful. Uh, okay, just rotating the old ones. Yeah, they were meant to bring up some servers, some new servers, which are just um, classic wear, basically. But I think that was only because they they had people running their own private servers and, and just doing that that old school wear experience. So obviously people want that, but uh, not sure what game to get after completing Yakuza Zero. Debating whether to get the Shenmue remaster. Beanhead is playing Shenmue at the moment, and he's loving it. Um, he said it certainly does make a difference. Uh, can I get up there? I don't think I can. I don't even know what's up there. Um, being there says it does make a difference, obviously, with the you know, instead of playing it on an emulator or something. But um, I think it's uh, it's still obviously an old game. So the nostalgia is great, but uh, 
if you never finished it, I'd say definitely pick it up. Uh, I'm going to be picking it up. Uh, I'll play it off stream, though. I don't think I'll stream it because finding time to stream lately has been really difficult. So finding the both the, both the time and the um, the impetus has been tough. So there's no way I'm going to commit to like a big <laughs> um, episodic thing at, at the moment. But something like this is fine. You know, jump in for an hour and chat to you wonderful people. I mean, to be fair, Mike, after you've done Yakuza 0, you might just want to go into Kiwami and, um, and just smash that. Um, yeah, I think I need to start putting my cells into my next health flask upgrade now that I've unlocked it. So let's start on that 700 cells there, man. That's going to be brutal. Um, right, let's upgrade some of my abilities as well. Let's do that. I should have upgraded both of these instead of the uh, the bow. Oh well, one of each that'll do. And let's drop our cooldowns because I do like those slices to be nice and quick. Just pop them out, pop them out. Yeah, cheers, Tim. I won't say this is going to be regular, but um, I don't know. It's a kill tonight, and I was like, Do you know what? I'll jump on Sunday nights. Are normally pretty quiet, so. Thought why not? And uh, stream but it is. Uh, da -da -da. Never played Shemu. I've watched a bit of a stream of it, and it seems okay. I think the difficult thing that I think people will find now is that if they never played Shemu, uh, I mean, what well, it's a twenty-year-old game, I suppose, isn't it now? So if you've played something like Yakuza, which which has got similarities, then it's one of those that I think you're going to be spoiled playing something like Yakuza and stepping back into Shemu. Whereas if you've got the nostalgia, I think that'll get you through it, but um, it, it's, it, it's going to be difficult, I think, if you've never played it before and, and you're going back to that uh, the control scheme and stuff. So it might be yeah, it might be worth watching a couple of reviews first, mate, just see how you get on with it. Ah, oh, thanks, Tim. Yeah, we, we were long overdue and entertain that show, in all fairness, so we had a, a fair bit to talk about. We'll try. We'll try and keep them a little bit more regular, but it's it's just hard work, mate. You know, everyone's got a lot on, so. And obviously, I have to alternate it with, with recording the band of gamers, so you know, I end up recording every week, uh, which is something I wanted to avoid. <laughs> some more damage man let's just crack on get some more damage do some real stuff to these guys um, yeah city real life team absolutely mate absolutely how many how many miles are you driving today mate I, I, I did ask earlier I don't know if I've missed it in the chat I know you were doing something ridiculous the other day like 400 miles which is crazy bro Let's have a look, see what we got. Uh, keep throwing that powerful grenade at me. But I do I like the slices man, I can't I can't help it. Um streamer I watched did warm meat using old control scheme. I think they have changed that you can use uh, there is an updated control scheme where you can use the old one, but I, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference to be honest. I think it's still it's not quite Resident Evil. Uh, original tank controls, but it, it's not super friendly either. But, um, I still want to get it. I mean, at 20, 20 quid, 25 quid, whatever it is for for Shem Yi One and Two, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, <laughs> yeah, five, four hundred miles. Tim put on it. He's uh, proclaimers. <laughs> now, hopefully that stops the animation. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm just going pure damage, man, as much as I can. Look at those shredding those baddies up. Isn't that a lovely sight to behold? Uh, let's pop down to you. Uh, Four hundred and fourteen mile round trip every night. Jesus, man. 
You deserve a medal. Seriously, that is some serious mileage, buddy. And I get fed up, you know, jumping on the train for 20 minutes to get to work. Let's see what we got. Oh, sh pop me head up too quick then. Oh, a cell. <laughs> Easiest job I've ever had, dude. <laughs> if that's easy. Oh, is that, uh, have I been down there? I don't think I have. Oh, there's a, there's a, the little purple thing, if you see on the map, you've got purple and gold areas, so that generally means there's a shop or a chest down there. And they're colour coded accordingly. Which is great, I mean, sometimes you don't have the money for it. Uh, Wings of the Crow is pretty cool, I like that, you can do a little hover, but it doesn't lift you up above the ground enough, you can kind of hover a little bit uh, and just, you know, batter the opponents beneath you, but it's fun. Some, some of the weapons are just fun, they're, you know, they're not actually that great in practice, but you soon find you have your preferred method of, uh, of murder and mayhem. Uh, long trip, no wonder you're in Geostreams, <laughs> snoring Geostreams. Um, I'll never tease you again now. <laughs> well, never say never, Michael. Never say never, because we know that we will. Um, after all, what is life without a bit of teasing? Keeps us grounded. Oh, shit. I didn't want to come down here so quick. Now, I don't like these little red things. These do my head. So let's see if we can get rid of some of them straight off the bat. There, okay. <laughs> Tim, I'm not surprised you pooped at the end of the day, mate. That is, it is a mission. It is a mission. I know you say it's like it's the easiest job you've had. And I guess you get to listen to a lot of podcasts, so basically we need to, uh, we all need to put out more content. <laughs> No harm ever came from a little tease. That's not always true. <laughs> Depends on your uh, on your surroundings. Um. Oh, goodies! There we go. So let's go for the biggest hit point boost. Um, I might as well actually use a health potion. Um, I've got another couple of uses, and we're almost top. We've got to be over halfway through this level anyway. No one here. Oh, an elite. Now, elite mobs are a little bit different in that they will track you when they get to half health. So, I like to just drop the uh, the shredders, let them do their, their bees. So now the elite will pull it through to me, which is a bit of a fall ache. But, again, they telegraph when they attack, so it's not that bad. Um, but they do give you some really nice power-ups, so golden amulet, so still doing the, the damage uh, oh, it actually covers them in oil, so I will still take it, because it it's a 10% damage reduction and also 75% projectile damage reduction, which is excellent um, I just need to fly me a weapon that lights people on fire now, really um, <laughs> Uh, what do you do for work, Tim? Uh, <laughs> uh, evening, Wildstanians. Welcome to a bit of Dead Cells. And an impromptu stream from myself. Not much else, so where have we got left? Um, I think back up top and into the right. Ah, you just got the spider rune. Yeah, I'll tell you what, doesn't the game open up when you get the runes? And it's nicely, um, they're kind of nicely paced out as well, so you're not, you know, you're not getting them too late, you're not getting them too early. I think I've picked them up all up now. Um, 
the Ram Rune was the last one to to collect. Yeah, it's yeah, no kidding, no kidding, Wild Stallions. It's it 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 can be rough. Um, it's a t it is a tough game, but I must admit, I look the more I play it, the, 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 you know, the, the quicker you get through it, the quicker you get familiar, and you end up flying through it. Um, it's just if it gets a bit too frantic on screen, that's that's the only times I've really struggled. Um, and I've got to the last boss, but I just cannot. Uh, I've literally put one key in the lock to open the the door to get into the throne room um, for the end of the game, but I'm, I'm literally uh, stuck right there. I, I just cannot get get into that uh, that throne room for the boss. God, it took a while to uh, to get in. It's not what you want at all. Okay, it's getting a little bit frantic. There we go. That's better. Calm down now. <laughs> 26 minutes to Yakuza Kiwami 2. Are you streaming that world tonight? Or is it released? Is it released in that time? Oh no, it comes out, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> I didn't know if you were uh, just picking it up at midnight or whether you're actually going to stream it, mate. Or yeah, uh, stallions. I wish I could just get to the last boss now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's that that castle level is bloody hard. There's so many uh, different mobs crossing over and stuff, and there's so many different attacks that, that come at you from every single direction. It's a real tough one. Although the worst level I think in this game is the one I can't remember which one it is now, but there's this red mist all the way through the level, and you have to take the light with you, um, and the light gradually deteriorates, and you can you can kind of re relight it at different points and stuff. That's a ball like that is. I, I really don't like. It's not the ossuary. I can't remember what the bloody hell it's called now, but um, that's my most frustrating <laughs> level in this. Um, uh, I'm not no, uh, but the game unlocks it down at midnight. I'm letting James stream them. Oh, cool. Okay. The whirlwind fuckers always get the best of it. Yeah, they suck you in, don't they? And I like to play a range game. Uh, I'd, I'd make no excuse about that. I do like to hang back and, you know, freeze them, set them on fire, whatever. Um, so there's the end. So we're almost at the first boss, actually, so we can do him in a minute. I'll just quickly go to uh, to the right and just see if there's anything else we're missing. Just make sure we're maxed out as we can be. And the first boss, to be fair, is a bit of a cakewalk. Um, is not the first time you do you, you are expected to die. It's just like Dark Souls in that respect, you know. You're not expected to get through everybody the first time you do it. Um, but once you've done it once or twice, you do find, yeah, it's, it's so predictable. Um, Gotta do it. Yeah, this bow doesn't do anywhere near enough damage, really, but. Um but it's still not bad. Dual slices are for. You, you are so right. <laughs> Dual slices are the way to go. Um. Ah, Cursed Treasure. I'll never bother with these. It's just so not worth the risk-reward. Um, basically, if I open it, it'll drop me some nice gear. Um, but the, the payoff for that is you have to kill ten enemies without taking a single hit. Take a hit, you're dead. Game over. Um, and it's it's so hard. 
So I'll never bother with that. Uh, it's, the game's tough enough as it is, you know what I mean? But um, as you can see, those dual slices just rip through anything, man. They are so good. at the end of the level. I'll go back to the boss one in a minute. Going to bed now, Michael? Okay, mate. Cheers for popping in, mate. I do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I know my streams are completely sporadic, but uh, I'll try and do the odd one more regularly, especially now, I've, uh, now I'm hooked on this game. Have a good night, mate, and uh, I'll catch you later. Fingers crossed United improve for you, buddy. Right, let's go and do the boss then. And he always drops something nice. Uh, right away. Just hope it's not a shield, though. <laughs> Although playing with the shield is apparently the way to go. Uh, you could get pretty, pretty leveled up with the parry ability and stuff. It stuns. You can stun lock uh, baddies and get health regen and all sorts from it. It's, it's it's meant to be a pretty good way to go, but I have not got the patience um, to do it. So spend our cells. See if we can upgrade some of these. That's that's better. We'll do a bit more damage with some of these. And we just have a look at the modifiers. So, 30% damage to a bleeding target, and both of these inflict bleeding, which is great. Um, might reforge the modifiers on that. A bit more ammo, no piercing. That might be decent for after we get through. If we still got it. Um, secondly, we'll just get a. We'll get ourselves a bit more hit points. And then go and do the gaffer. So this goes pretty straightforward in terms of bosses. You can generally stay at range and just pick him off. Uh, especially if you've got twin slices, that is a, it's a good, uh, good little technique. Um, he does a flame attack on the floor, which you have to jump, and then halfway through his rotation, he'll change. And um, after the flame attack, he'll then sort of jump towards you and have a lunge. There he goes, flames. Oh no, it helps if I follow the right way. There we go, this is a little jump. So, next time he jumps, I think I'll try and heal. Oops, no, no, too soon. Probably don't need to heal, there's no point tempting fate. Almost there. There we go. So just let the slices do the work for you. He's not too bad. Oh, there we've got a nice looking bow and arrow. What have we got there? Um, bow and endless quiver. Oh, baby. So we'll get rid of the ice bow. So as you've seen, the you know, bow and arrows have. They do have bullets um, and arrows and stuff, so you, you kind of you are limited. But endless quiver bow, it's ace. Um, and one which I've already unlocked, which is uh, you get it powered up. It does some serious damage. Evening Punisher, how you doing, buddy? 
Good evening, sir. Um, so what have we got? So colorless. So basically, you know, you can level red, purple, and green. Uh, whichever one of those is the highest contributes to the power of the colorless items, basically. So by going purple, all, all of these will be, you know, max damage. 50% um, damage on your max hit points. Flamble oil launches grenade. So I'm gonna just tweak this a little bit. See if we can get a better. Um, better bonus stats on it. Freeze other enemies. Uh, yeah, so spreading flammable law is quite good because we've got a fire weapon as well, so I'll probably keep that as it is. Uh, this is a different dude. It basically increases the chance you've got of good items dropping as you play through. It's nice to ch chuck a few cells his way. As well as selling them with uh, with your, your old collector friend. So mutations are okay as they are. Um, and then we'll run on to the next area, which which you can, we can either go two ways. We can go to Stilt Village, or because we've got the Spider Room, uh, which while Stallions has just unlocked, you can then run up here, and we can go to the Slumbering Sanctuary. So you can go to either one of those areas. To, to, for the route, for me personally, to get through to the throne room, I generally go still. Um, I find it a little bit easier. Uh, the, the enemies are a little bit more predictable, and especially if you've got a quick weapon, because some of them spawn uh, little bombs or they spawn little grubs and stuff. So if you've got a nice quick weapon or you've got some flames, uh, it's probably the easier way out of the two to go. Um, good to hear, Punisher. Glad you're glad you're doing well, mate. Um, well, did you hit up Insomnia at the weekend? I went there with my boy on Sunday uh, just to check it out, and uh, so he could meet a YouTuber or two, you know, of his little favourite people. And uh, will you be at EGX, Punisher? I know I'm cheesing that but just dropping them and jumping out of the way but you know it serves a purpose health boost there but I'll just leave that one of the things I do like about this is that health that we've just unlocked will just stay there uh, and it doesn't disappear uh, the mobs don't respawn so you're kind of free just to like leave it it's, and if you, even if you get where it is you just look on the map and be like right where's that where's me where's my health there you go nice and easy um, another one of the locked doors which you can't get into I uh, should have done the level a lot quicker, but that's okay. Good to hear you're not too bad, Punisher. Okay, so these little grubbies are not, not friends of mine. I do not like little grubbies. They can take off a surprising amount of, um, of energy if they get you all at once. No, drop down, son. Drop down, there we go. <laughs> Tim, yeah, get some rest, mate. Get some, uh, get, get on the road, chill out, don't work too hard, and uh, you know, listen to some tunes, mate. Listen to some podcasts, and uh, you've got that world world music album of Shays to listen to as well, mate. <laughs> uh, good to hear, mate. Good to hear. I will, um, I will try and stream a little bit more. It's, uh, but like I said, it's just you know difficult at the minute. Um, But I will definitely stream some more of this game because I love this game. And it's one of those games that doesn't actually, although it does need you to pay attention, it's not actually that bad, you know. <laughs> Lots of tunes and casts, yeah man, do it. Tunes and casts is where I go. Um, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go another purple just to get some more damage. Those twin slicers, man. They do it for you. They do it for you. Uh, oh, another slicer. Let's see what level that is. Uh, 92 DPS. Ooh, victims of bleeding spread it to other enemies nearby. Shots pierce the first target. Now that's an important one, piercing the first target, because they will just carry on through a whole stream of enemies, which, which is fantastic. Um, so, let's go over the 2 plus. And don't be afraid of that, you know, if you think, if you see a weapon that drops and you think, oh, I've already got one of them, 
um, it's always worth checking to see if it's a plus one or a plus two or whatever it may be because um, chances are it may be a little bit better than what you've got <laughs> I've seen two of the three emotes for the game where it played itself and oh my god Chris has done it again yeah dude, dude's talented man He's uh, he's got the skills um, yeah, we know he's great. We know he's got the uh, he's got the um, you know the skills, mate. So, uh, have I been in that door? I can't remember. Let's see. I don't know if I've been in this one. No, I haven't. Okay, so this is a little treasure door, unique to this uh, this level. So you just bowl through. There must be some goodies at the top for us, or a shop. Yeah, you know he's he's getting some good um, some good work and some good focus out of the emotes that he does, and I'm glad because he you know he's, he's good at it. He works hard. Oh, we've made him bleed up top as well. Not sure how we got him, but uh, I'll take it. Got to love that bow and endless quiver. So there's another elite up there, so we'll we'll try and lure him. We'll kill this dude, and then we'll lure him across. Um, well, actually, we'll trap him in there, you know. Oof. There we go. Let the piercers do their magic. And then you're going to come down to me now. There we go. He wasn't too bad. Ah, no, the Spartan Sandal. One of the worst... <laughs> unlocks you can probably get so if you get the game probably don't unlock that it's it, you have to get super close and you basically kick them and unless you kick them into a wall um it's it's not great so definitely definitely leave that one uh, don't unlock it like i did um and you won't be sorry um deserves as much recognition for his talent as possible that is very true will he does indeed uh, chris will also be at egx on saturday uh, so you know, I'm sure we'll be saying hello to everybody, and uh, you know, if uh, anyone wants some emotes done, you know, go tap him off, and I'm sure he'll be willing to help for a small fee. Um, right, so we need to get in that room now, and that will give me one of the keys to advance. Oh, uh, Grubby's down there. Okay, let's just get rid of him first. Yeah, I'm sure you will, mate. I'm sure you'll get to meet him this year. I think it'll be... He should have a little bit more time, I think, this year. It's always difficult, you know, it's, and it's so busy in there. And, you've, you know, if you're anything like me, my phone had no reception whatsoever last year. Um, and when and it's Somnia, it had no, uh, no signal either. So, it wasn't great. <laughs> Yeah, Punisher EGX, not too far away at all, mate. Not too far away at all. Really looking forward to it. Just wondering what games will be there, really, this year, because... Um, I went to Insomnia on Sunday, Punisher, um, just for the day. Um, and it's the first one I've been to. Uh, it's definitely no EGX. It's you know not as, not as big or as busy. But if you... Uh, I was surprised that there were a few new games, you know, Spidey, Team Raider and stuff. But if you weren't going to EGX, it'd be a nice one to go to and just play a couple of those games, but I think if you're doing EGX, it's just a few four days at EGX, there's no point going to Insomnia. Um, unless you want to meet the YouTubers or something like that. Yeah, no, I'll, def I'll text you, Will. That, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll, I mean, to be fair, the Thursdays... Thursday, Friday, it's it's quieter, isn't it? You can you can get older people and stuff, and even if I even if I couldn't message you, I'd still see you about. So whereas Saturday and Sundays, well, especially Saturday, Saturday's ridiculous. Um, but it was last year. making this game look a lot <laughs> look a lot easier than it is but um, 
Where's me? Where's me cells? There we go. Yeah, yeah. I think this this time around I'm going to get all my gaming done Thursday, Friday. Just smash it. Um, especially the the AAA stuff uh, and as much of the indies as I can. And then I think Saturday just be meeting and drinking and and having a laugh and stuff. So that's the plan. Let's just mow down all these guys and I've got a There's a collectible outside the outside here somewhere, isn't there? Where are we? There we go. Um, yeah, Sunday clear up day. Yeah, well, I'll be taking Luke again on Sunday. I tried, I, I did think I could get away with taking him out of school on, on Thursday, but um, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do that, to be fair. So, yeah, to be fair, well, I think Sony will have Spider Man. I think that'll be their big one. I know it'll be out, but I don't see him having anything else, really. Because it was it, all their big stuff, it'll be too early, won't it? Yeah. Spider-Man Metro Exit as well. Punisher and Insomnia, they had Division 2, Assassin's Creed and um, Tomb Raider. So they'll all be there, I'm sure. I'm sure they will. Um, but I don't think there'll be anything... I'm hoping that Red Dead will be there. Um, I mean, I'm not probably not going to play it if it's there, but it'd be nice because I know it'll draw the crowds and it'll free up <laughs> everything else and the other stuff. In a selfish point of view, you know what I mean? Um. Uh, we could get the E3 Builder Days gun, they might do that. Um, and you know what, they could do the E3 build, if, if it was completely playable, of The Last of Us 2, but I, I, I don't, I think that's too far away. And there's been no, no emails or anything coming out to say book an appointment or to try this, that and the other. So I do think it might be too far. Um, yeah, no, I know, I know that Punisher, but I'm just thinking maybe it might be a little bit different this time around. But then I, you know, I thought that with Grand Theft Auto and all the rest of it, so... But there aren't many heavy, heavy hitters left for this year, though, are there really? You know, you've got Spider-Man. You got you got uh, yeah Red Dead Redemption um, or any VR yeah well, I mean there will be VR there um, but again you know there's no I don't know I think I think it's going to be a little bit like all the big games will be out already so people will play them but Battlefield and Call of Duty yeah but you're always guaranteed them. But I mean, at least last year Sony had like Battlefront 2 and some stuff like that, didn't they? But there's not there's nothing like that either. Uh, grenades, grenades, grenades. And I think we're doing pretty. We're, we're kicking ass with the uh, the shredders, man. We'll, we'll keep those. Yeah, Forza Horizon 4. Again, if, if there's no if there's no queue for it, I'll I'll jump on that. But I'm buying that day one anyway, mate. I've got to be honest. I love Forza Horizon 3, I've got some real good play out of that, so I'll definitely picking up Horizon 4. Ah, good man, Will, good man. So I look forward to that, I look forward to getting on there and playing some with you, mate. Ooh, health time. Soul Calibur. Yeah, I forgot about Soul Calibur. Good shout, Punisher. Good shout. 
Yeah, that should be there. God, this bow is so lethal. Let's do this door, but let's have a look. Have they taken the loot boxes out of the uh, Are they? No, I hadn't heard that. It wouldn't surprise me um, if they're taking the. They should take the bloody loot boxes out, really. Uh, have I got keys to unlock? Oh, yeah. Uh, sepulture. Now, that's the one I don't like. I don't like the sepulture. No, I've just done the wrong thing. There we go. I need to go back out there. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what's there. It, it always is. I'll, I'll, the Thursday will be like a big mooch round. I'll go play all the triple A's that I can. Um, and just see what I can get done in that time. But um, oh, we've got both keys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah, I've done it. Um, no worries, Peter. We've all got to let the dog out sometimes. Um, what about the games that are coming out on the same day in February? I uh, can't remember the names. Uh, Death May Cry 5. Yeah, if that was playable at Gamescom, there's no reason why not. Kingdom Hearts, maybe? Because, yeah, we've got Kingdom Hearts. We've got Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh, the Res Resident Evil 2 Remake might be there. No, that would get the cues. Yeah, I think we've got Resident Evil 2, I think we've got um, Kingdom Hearts 3, um, and I think there's one more all out at the same time. It could be Soul Calibur. Um, well, there's no reason why Kingdom Hearts 3 couldn't be playable. I mean, I think it was playable at, was it E3? Or was it just the trailer at E3? I can't remember now. Uh, Resident Evil 2, Kingdom Hearts 3 is January. Yeah, you see, really? They, they should have a Kingdom Hearts 3. Ah, shit, I can't get out that way now, can I? I've used my village key in the wrong place. Uh, do you know what? I'll have to do the support here, then that's fine. Um, which is the shit one. Uh, oh, hang on, there's two village keys. Uh, oh, no, I've used one to get through the door. Have I? Where did I use the keys? Uh Yeah, I think I did, didn't I? Oh well, okay. I'll have to go back and do that. Yeah, he did he didn't half get into Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, he made me want to play it. <laughs> Um, Anthem, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think Anthem will be there, but it could be. Uh, weird date for a Bowie game, usually release the games in March. Right. I've got no, no, no alternative now other than to go through to uh, the Forgotten Sepulture, which I do not want to go to, however, it needs to be done. Um, and as it's midnight, I might actually finish it there, finish the stream there, um, to be continued. Um, where are we? Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll probably finish there for the night as it's midnight. Um, but yeah, Jump Force could be there. Yeah, it's I don't know. Like, I, I do say this every year. Like I'm thinking, oh, there's less and less AAA games that might be there, but. It's one of those, I think you think. Um, just wanted to see this one for a minute. Uh, I'm working through Neo and God of War. Looks so nice, uh, but it seems possibly a bit overrated. Um, Starve for Help. It's. I wouldn't say it's overrated. I think people have gone mad on it. 
which is kind of weird as there, 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 are, there have been a lot of games that have done similar things but I think this just pulls it all in together um, and does a good job of it, it it's it's um, it's as close to getting that kind of formula perfected as I think that they will will do um, but for 20 quid I think it's definitely worth a go um, so you're playing through Neo, so if you're playing through Neo then Starved, it's one of them where those mechanics are going to be very similar to, you know, getting out, it's like Dark Souls, you, you've got to get out of the way. This level I hate, I, don't, I wish I hadn't have unlocked the bloody door now, but um, this is the one where you have to pick the light up and take it with you. Uh, it adds a whole new level of bloody difficulty to it, so as you go through you see the purple mist is eating into my little blue my blue light sphere and when that touches me I'm gonna take damage so the music will crank up a little bit and then boom there we go bleed whoa 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 so it's a bit annoying this level I understand what I've done the mechanic but it means I've got to get rid of one of my slicers and I don't wanna um, but as you go through like you, you can kind of light the, light the lamps up as you go um, this level above all other levels is made for speed, so really you want to be smashing through as quick as you can. Um, which isn't great if you're new to the game and you first start playing this level, because there's some horrible bloody enemies. Oh, there we go, slow down. Oh, has that crashed? Has that crashed? I think it has. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think the game is telling me I've had enough anyway, so <laughs> just as I was going through, and I didn't take much of a hit either. Um, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think that's telling me it's time to call it a night. But uh, I'll, I'll stream some more uh, one of the one of the other days, and um, it doesn't. This is the first time it's crashed on me. I will say that. But um, every now and again, the fright. The frame rate doesn't necessarily suffer. It just it just kind of catches up with itself, and you'll just have a little pause. A tiny little pause as you kind of roll through a door or you roll roll around into an enemy when it gets a bit busy on screen it'll just have a slight little lag but um this has never this has never happened before but there you go at least it's been recorded live on stream so when i when i record the show next i can have a moan about it <laughs> and get it done but um yeah i would it's definitely a game i'd recommend starved um but if you're already playing neo and god of war mate i'd get i'd finish them first and wait for a sale um I think that's my advice on most games at the minute. <laughs> if you've got a ton of games, just wait, and uh, you know, it's too easy to just pick them up when they come out, and then, you know, play them for an hour or two, then jump onto the next shiny. So, well, there you have it, folks. Dead Cells has been broken. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'll call it there. Um, but I will. Yeah, I'll probably stream a little bit more of this in the week. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming by, Starve. Good to see you, and um, and thank you to everyone in chat. And you know, it's good good to chat, good to catch up with you guys, and good to chat a little bit about Eurogamer as well, and and see what's coming for EGX as it's less than four weeks away now. It's getting exciting. Right, I will I will jump off here then, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all. Yeah, catch you all next time. Take it easy, folks. See you later.